So essentially the Burnley Tunnel is a three kilometre tunnel along the City Link stretch of road, a very busy stretch of road. Basically Transurban have a problem in terms of increasing the throughput of traffic through this tunnel. We find that there's a driver behaviour to come out of the tunnel and not realise that they're losing speed. These lights are a smart way to get drivers to maintain their speed on the incline out of the tunnel. Because we were doing something quite nuanced in a tunnel that really mattered to Transurbans, we wanted to go with a partner who knew the road and the way that infrastructure holds together intimately. So we went with Service Stream initially to have a conversation about how we would do this without impacting the border infrastructure. The ECI process or early contractor involvement is where professional services are provided by our service stream for the project to Transurban and we help them with the challenges of the project to make sure they're ready for delivery. We were involved in helping the client review the design from a constructability point of view, providing valuable feedback to the designer. It's built on the foundation of a strong relationship early in the piece through procurement and, and working our way through the challenges of the project. That transparency made it really simple for us. I think what Service Stream brought in that world was transparency and transparency with trust. The installation resource level for Burnley Tunnel functional lighting is comprised of up to 60 electricians on any shift, 30 traffic controllers, and over 20 different pieces of plant. So the project starts with surveying and marking out of the, uh, where the lights are going to go, and then we uh, install the infrastructure to mount the lights to. We then come through and mount all the lights, and then follow it up with all the electrical work and uh, electrical cutovers. It was a pretty, um, a, a pretty long process, and the guys had to work pretty hard to get them, get them up on the wall, and um, I think it's a pretty great result what they've done. To ensure our team's safety, Service Stream have a very robust safety management system. Even though we're operating in a high risk traffic environment, we are ensuring that the traffic is set to 40 kilometres an hour. We have bump trucks in place to protect our crews in the event of a wayward truck or car. But at the end of the day, our, our goal is to make sure that, that people come home after work. Like Service Stream's approach to safety was spot on. I think it's what sets Service Stream apart. They've got such a level of respect and such a good safety culture that it allows us to deliver our projects in a safe and beneficial manner, not only for us, but our clients and also the local community that we're working in. Being here this evening to see the commissioning, it's not necessarily just a win for Service Stream. It feels like it's a win for Transurban Service Stream and some of our supply partners.